Hi all, this is Pramin Senapati and I am having around 6 plus years of IT experience. Now we will today learn what is module, that means AngularJS module, which is the most important chapter of this AngularJS. What are modules? The module belongs to a AngularJS application. Module reduces the amount of code that will be written in the edges application as we know that less code more readability why we need modules? Why AngularJS module? As we know that the functions we write are global. In any page, in the any, wherever in the application, AngularJS application, we can access that function or that global variable you mean that variable is global only there is no restriction so what is the problem if if I am writing or I am developing a login module and another another developer is developing a account summary module then he can change my script or function or any variable because there is no restriction here so because of because of this problem the angular just module came into focus so it restricts each module will be in restriction area so one module cannot access the private functions or variables of another module It restricts <coughs> it restricts to freely access the variables and the functions. It keeps the global namespace clean. By reducing the number of controllers because if we write number of controllers in each and every HTML or JSP page then these controllers can pollute and pollute the global namespace that's why with the help of these modules we can keep the global namespace clean by reducing the number of controllers 
so let's go and develop a module before we're gonna go from developing a module let's note some points modules define applications all application controllers should belongs to module modules make your application more readable is it all and keep the global namespace clean so why module we know that controllers pollute the global namespace the global values like global variables or global functions should be avoided in the applications they can be easily overwritten or destroyed by other scripts like as i told if any other developer developing any other module they can access your global variables or functions by using his own module and scripts and there and his scripts can affect your code because your variables and functions are not private and they can be freely accessed angular js module can solve or reduce this problem in our old programs the application does not have this ng app as i am leaving this as blank and the controller function so i am leaving this as blank so in our all the programs the application does not have a name and the control function is here the control function is global so once we will give any alias name that means this is the module name after that the control controller will not be global and no one can access your personal controller so let's develop and you can easily come to know that how to write module let's write name module to develop a module there will be three files one html another fi file will be app dot js where all the modules will be written there and and the another file uh, is a controller let's write HTML file that is name.html that is JS file mm. that is app.js this one that is my controller dot js so write the html code i have already written that name dot html let's edit i have app dot js but in my current folder 
I have my controller dot js in my current folder that is where it is Now already these two text box are existing here. Okay. Now by using a module, I will set the default values of these two text boxes. The first name and the last name. And write, I will write this my control or yeah my controller. See, I have written my app i've given an alias name and how we can use this alias name i will show you i saved it now go to the doc folder app.js where I've taken a variable app and I'll write angular dot module okay here I will give my module name what is my module name? This where it is written. I have written my module name as my app. I will copy. I will paste it here. Okay. Suppose my module is login module. Here I will write login. And the same name will copy here and another guy has summary summary module so he use he should configure here like this summary and he'll write summary app and this should copy in that HTML, his HTML page, HTML home page. But now I have my module which is written as my app. And I copied here. Okay. I configured my module as my app this one what is this if we have some dependency need to be injected to my applications such as i18 keys or some uh, some dependent values then or some services http services so if there is any dependency then I will inject all these things here now there is no dependency because this application is not connected with the real-time server or anything that's why I left it blank there is no dependency no IT no IT no HTTP services that's why I left it blank so I have configured my module name and this reference I will get in this variable and I will use this variable to configure my all the controllers in another controller file so see it here I have taken 
the reference in this variable and I will use this variable to configure my controllers app dot controller there will be two parts one is controller name and the controller function okay what is my controller I have given it as my CTRL and I will write give the dollar scope here write dollar scope dot f name equal to Durga dot l name equal to soft okay copy this name okay see I have given as F name so change it to F name L name change it to L name F name save it execute it see you can see the default values Durga soft so again I will review the code I have written to develop the module I mean my name module see normally how we will write the English's HTML code in this way the difference is that previously I was leaving this as blank now I given a name this is my module name my app and I configured it in this app.js by writing angular.module and my module name and I have taken this module reference in a variable by taking by using this variable I configured all the controllers I have only single controller that's why I've given one controller otherwise again app.controller even again give my login controller here in this way write each and every controller or configure each and every controller here like this like this if you have number of controllers but I have only one controller so I have written my controller my one my controller function and the default values and I configured the controller by using that my module reference so in this way you can develop your own module in the future in my another class I will show you some interesting example by using event module controllers all these things so that's it for this day